it's a personal nightmare for me. I had five feet of water in my home, lost my home, spent the last eight months rebuilding it. So for me, a presidential candidate needs to, number one, um, respect the science you know, that's out there that says it exists and it contributes. The Texas State Climatologist um, said that this flood that we experienced was enhanced by human activity. Um, and I'm just wondering, it sounds like as a, as a Florida governor, you put aside money to deal with the um, results of hurricanes and superstorms. Yeah. Is there things, what can we prevent <laughs> this from happening and affecting more Americans? Yeah, I, look, I, I, global warming is real. The climate is changing. And I think it's undeniable that man has had some impact on that. It's hard to imagine five billion people in this organized society in the world we live in, there's no, we don't have an impact. I, I just, so I'm not a denier in that regard. Yay. Uh, <laughs> 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 that's not really the, <laughs> 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 well, I, I know others, others, you know, just discard it outright and that, that doesn't make sense to me. I'm actually, I think conservatives um, lose ground when we don't embrace technology and science. I mean, why wouldn't we want to embrace uh, the, the things that will enhance our lives? Because frankly, that lessens the demand on government. The things that we're on the verge of, of seeing and experiencing are going to be wondrous. They're going to be fantastic. I, I'm totally all in on discoveries and cures and solutions to things through technology and through the advancement of science. And um, I'm not a denier in that regard. I do, I am skeptical about everything being because of climate change. The eight hurricanes and four tropical storms we went through in 16 months was a pattern that, that has existed. Since then, there hasn't been a, a, a hurricane in 12 years. You know, is that the climate, is that because of climate change as well? I mean, you could, you've got to be careful, I think, of saying that calamities, you know, are always related to this. There may be some influence on it, it but nevertheless, you have to adapt, be prepared to adapt. So I live in Miami. Now, here's the challenge. In one of these town hall meetings, some guy got up and said, it's the science suggests, I always get nervous when that comes up because it's not always uh, suggested, but this guy said the science suggests that the sea levels in Florida are gonna grow by six feet and the average um, level of land is six feet. The implication is the entire state will be underwater. Well, that's not true. The sea level is not going to rise by six feet. It might, you know, a thousand years from now, who knows, but it's not going to rise in the near term, in the next 30 years or 50 years. But it doesn't matter. So this guy was trying to make a case. He was an intelligent person. He was trying to make a case based on faulty science, in this case, to make it sound more dramatic than it needed to be. The result of three inches or four inches or five inches of sea level rise in Miami is significant because it will change our water supply. It will, it will create, during high tides, it'll create floods. And so what do we do? We should adapt to that and we should begin to plan over the long haul as people in South Florida, what, what the world could look like if the sea level rose at what the expectation of it rising, which is in the inches. And that requires new growth management laws. It requires you know, water supply, um, commitment to water supply. And that's the kind of thing that I think um, leaders need to be focused on. And the federal government should play a role both in research and development to identify the next disruptive technologies that could bring about renewable energy, uh, as well as they should be focused on providing support for communities as they adapt to the new reality of a changing climate. I think that's the rational place where there's an intersection of common sense that left and right can agree on. And I'm sorry about your, your flood. Thank you so much. You came all the way to ask me that question? I did. <laughs> Appreciate you being here. Enjoy, enjoy the greatest democracy uh, experience you'll ever have. I, hope I, you're... I know, you brought tears to my eyes. <laughs>